Oh, hi guys, so keeping well. Um, not done a video for a long while. Uh, I've been doing lots of different uh, bits and pieces. I've been working on a little motocross bike and I've started flying uh, RC auto gyros, which is quite challenging. Um, I'll do another little video on that a bit later on. But um, you know the, the problem with the Toyon L400, it's been publicised a lot with the broken crankshafts. Well, I think I must have bought this engine last June or July, something like that. Um, I can't remember really. Um, I know it's a long time ago. And I've been trying to get the thing sorted, you know. I put a new, they sent me a new crankshaft and I put that in. But I never run it because uh, I know Dennis Dempsey actually broke two crankshafts. Um, I'm not sure whether he put another one in and broke three. I can't remember now. But, you know, Toyon said you could do a mod by drilling through here and putting a screw on the on the bearing, you know, um, engine DIY. But, you know, I'm, I couldn't really see what that was going to do. Uh, you're really just going to crush the bearing. I mean, that's not good engineering practice to put a grub screw onto a bearing especially it's quite a small one and it wouldn't take a lot of pressure to damage that bearing so anyway to cut a long story short i've been waiting and waiting and i've been contacting engine diy um and they said that they're working on the problem because i think it must have been everyone i've seen even the guy with the uh, nsu moped uh, i believe it broke you know and Everyone's saying it's calling out for a centre bearing, but Toyon seem to be going their own way and not doing that. I, I think you you could actually put four main bearings in there. You know, there's enough room there, and you could come in from the... I would come in from the side there, and not just put one in, but do four. So, anyway, you know, I, I did explain that to them, or have it like a, a real engine where you lay the crankshaft in to the main bearings. You know, I mean, when you look how long that crankshaft is, unsupported, just both ends, you know, you can really see why it breaks. Um, and it, you have to threadle it through all the way through. But if they made it like a real engine, whether it's cut away and you've got the four main bearings there, and you just drop the crank in, I believe that would last you forever because it'd be supported on every journal. And, you know, they're nice on that crank. They're quite nice big journals on there. Um, but they always break through this, this big end here. That's where they break. So it's sort of at the front of the engine, or sort of bias to the front. Um, I know Dennis Dempsey said it could be the cam, you know, the, the force of the cam operating through the, uh, you know, the belt and stuff like that. Um, yeah, because the valve spring's fairly strong, I think. But, um, not, you know, I'm still not so sure. I, I think that that crankshaft really needs to be supported on all of those journals, you know, not just one in the middle. It needs to be supported on the others. But anyway, let's get back to this. Um, I keep asking Mona at Engine DIY, um, what time we're doing because you it's hard to get some information of what actually is going on to try and fix this engine you know i thought are they going to just give up on it because they're bringing out so many engines like one after the other um they've got a v8 one out now um and i, I don't know if i've sort of lost confidence in his company i don't know i mean sometimes they're very hard to talk to to get someone and other times they're really helpful you know um it, it's never sort of constant and you know the last thing that actually i i found out was that time were putting um a larger bearing in the front so they've gone from i think it was 12 mil i believe od um, and I've gone to, or was it 16? No, I think it was a 16 outside diameter. And now they've gone to a bigger 
19 mil bearing. So, Mona said to me, um, we'll send you the crankshaft and the new crankcase. I said, oh, that'd be great. So I stripped all my car down, took everything off it, and got ready for the new crankcase. Well, when the new crankcase turned up, or the cylinder block, as some people like to call them, I got the crank with it. Uh, and sure enough, if you can see in there, that's a bigger diameter. Uh, Toy and reckon they've tested this, uh, um, the engine's okay now. Um, I don't know what sort of testing they've actually done to it. But I don't know if you can see there's sort of something missing out of the engine. If you look at my other one, can you see what I haven't got in there? That's right, there's no liners in it. Now, you know, I don't know what I was expected to do. Was I expected to get the liners out of the other block and put them in there? I don't know. Um, there's also a bronze bearing for the water pump in the front there, if you can see that. Now, how do you get that out, you know? You could heat it up maybe and, you know, get the, um, the liners out, I don't know. But you could also make a right pig zero of it and, and damage the whole thing. So I, I didn't really think that was my job. I thought well, I was going to get an engine block with the liners in and, you know, with a little bronze bush because how the hell are you going to get that out? I don't know. But what, what what Mona said to me was that Toyan said, send me a new block and crankshaft. Uh, so she did. But there was no liners in the um, block. So I don't know whether miscommunication or whatever but I still think it's not really my job to put the liners in the engine bearing in mind when you buy this engine and you build it from scratch the piston rings are in the liners and it says in the instructions clearly leave the rings where they are and put the correspondent piston with that ring in that bore so obviously the engine must have been run and they're using the parts that are bedded in. So you use the, uh, for number one cylinder, you take the ring out, you put it on number one piston, you do the same all the way along. So you're using the rings that have been run in those bores. Now, I don't know what's happened here, but they've sent this spare sort of block, which I can't really do much with, and... I've got no rings or anything like that. I, I suppose I've got to use my existing pistons and rings that have been run with this engine. Uh, what has happened to their saying in the instructions that you've got, you've got must use the rings that are left in the bores. So I'm putting old pistons and rings into new bores. Um, but at the moment, I haven't got any aligners. So, again... Get back to Sterling Kit, um, and then they get back on the toy, and, and they said to me, oh, they didn't know that I actually didn't know how to put the liners in. Now, I, I, like I said, you know, a few times before, I don't think it's my job to actually heat that up, you know, and get them liners out. Um, I really don't think that is, you know, an easy thing to do, and the bronze bush at the front. So, to be fair, Mona has apologised to me in Sterling Kit, and they're going to send me out another block with the liners in. Now, the other thing, this engine has been apart so many times now. Um, all the gaskets and the seals, they're all getting, you know, worn and mis you know, shaped and whatever. And I've asked on several occasions... When they send me the new block and the crankshaft, if they could send me the gaskets you need to put your engine back together. Now, you don't want to put, I mean, the sump gasket, you know, it's a real fiddly thing to go in. This one's 
past its sell by date, it's all chewed up, you know. Um, the There's one that goes in the back of the engine, if I can find the little part that it fits in. Uh, it's like the water pump's got little seals and stuff in it. Camshaft's got seals on it. Uh, oh, here we go. Now this is the rear bearing. Right. All right, right. This is the rear bearing. Right. Now it's got a seal at that end. Uh, obviously, that's what the crankshaft runs on. I would have liked a new one of them. And the worst thing of all, there's a green O-ring that goes around here that presses into the block. So that goes into the block like that. But in here, there is like a green silicon O-ring. And as soon as you use it, it's destroyed. Now, I've asked time and time again if Toyan can send me like a full gasket set for the engine so I can make a good job of rebuilding it. You know, they kept saying to me that they'd send it back and, and they re rebuild it. But, you know, like Danny said, it's $70 to send the engine back. Um, and I'm sure I can build the engine as good as anyone at Toyan can. So, you know, this is where we are at the moment. You know, I'm, I'm giving Toyan a chance now to come back to me. Um, they have said to me they're going to send me a new block um, with the liners in so I can sort of complete this engine. But whether it's going to sort of take the punishment of being in a truck or, or anything like that, I, I don't really know. So um, that's that's where I am. I would love to get this thing going again because when it run for a little while, it was fine until the crankshaft broke. And, you know, I put a new crankshaft in and I've just set up the gearbox when I see Dennis Dempsey's video. Um, and it's been months and months and months of all different things, not getting sort of answer from um, Engine DIY, um, Sterling Kit, you know, stuff like that. No one seemed to know what was actually going on at um, Toyon. Um, I did get a sump gasket from Engine DIY, I believe. It's very expensive for what it is. But, you know, you, if you've got to keep rebuilding the engine all the time... Um, you know, them gaskets, it's like the the one on here. You know, this is on the rocker box. This gasket is like really, you know, it's sort of stuck on there. It would be nice if I could get a new one. But anyway, it's in it's in um, Sterling Kit's hands now. They, they have promised to send me a new um, block with the liners in. I'm not sure what we're doing about the pistons and the rings, you know. I mean, really, the... Piston and the bores are matched from the factory when you buy the kit, so I don't really know what they're what they're going to do about the new ones. So, you know, whether you're going to get a new set of rings with this or you've got to use your old rings, I don't know because you can't get that information from uh, Sterling because I don't think they really know. It's just they contact Toyon and then Toyon get back to them. Uh, and it just takes and takes so much time. But, you know, I'm hoping that when I get the new uh, cylinder block with the liners in, um, and then, you know, I've got the new crank here with the larger uh, bearing. Still really not sure what that is going to do. But, you know, I've got no choice in this matter. You know, I have got to keep trying, got to keep sort of getting on to Toyon, I've got to uh, keep getting on the Sterling kit. Otherwise, you know, there's an $800 engine that's sitting here that's in bits that I can't use. So I do appreciate Sterling kit uh, for sending me the parts. Although this one's not correct, hopefully the next one will be. Because, you know, we do love these engines. And... It's just a shame that, you know, the backup seems to be a little bit suspect now and then. Um, and you have to really work at it to try and get something done on the engine. So let's just hope that I receive um, a new block with the liners in so I can rebuild my truck and get you some running bits because it's an awesome engine when it's running. And if I can get the two-speed work on, on 
you know, on it, it'll be great. So I'm going to sign off now, guys. So, um, hope to see you in the next one. I've got a few other little things I've got to do, um, some videos in the pipeline, but um, I'll say goodbye for now and uh, I'll see you in the next one.